Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the rectangle tool within the key point curve toolbox. The rectangle tool is located within the key point curve toolbox, which is located right here. So all you have to do is just click on the tool and I'm just going to go to the side view, F6, like this. And I'm just going to snap a point over here and I'm going to snap another point right here. And this is how you create a rectangle. So like all the other key point curve toolbox tools, you can adjust the dimensions. So all you have to do is just click the pick, uh, pick curves and control shift, right mouse button, information window, and under attributes, you can adjust, uh, uh, adjust and specify the specific width or the height. So let's say if I want to make it 650 wide by let's say, 1000 mil high, then I can adjust the box accordingly. Of course, you can snap it to uh, all the points over here. So you can just snap it anywhere you want like this. Now, one thing you have to be aware is that this is actually a single curve. So if you look at the degree and spans over here, it's a single degree and four spans. So depending on the situation, this might be helpful, uh, helpful or it might hinder in the uh, surface building. So let's say you want to build a rail. So I'm just going to snap a curve over here like this. And let's see, I'm just going to open up all the menus and I'm just going to do a rail like this. And I'm going to pick this as a gen and this as a rail. You'll notice that even though we create a, well, it's not a cube, but we uh, create a surface over here. But because this is a sing, um, single degree, multiple span surface, you can't really do much with it. So let's say you want to build a fillet, it won't let you. So I'm going, because it is, well, one surface. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to set this to chord and I'm going to set it as G2. And let me just adjust the core length to 100. Because it's a single surface, you cannot even click on it. So in this case, what you have to do is you can use this as a guideline. So instead of using this, oops, let me just delete this curve over here. One thing you can do is you can just re-snap using this as a guideline like this. And let me just hide this for a second and you'll be able to, oh, actually I shouldn't, I should have kept this curve over here. You can just use a rail like this. And I'll just do a surface filler like this. Now this is one way to do it. And this, uh, because it's multiple surfaces, it's not just a one single surface going under around the loop. This will give you a lot of editability. Now, one other thing you can do is, let me just delete all of these. And let me just, actually, I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to delete that too. You can do a draft. So with the draft tool, all you can do, uh, you can adjust the length. Uh, with this tool, what you get is actually a single, span surface all the way around. So these are actually in pieces. So if you were to, let's say, wanted to, to uh, put a fillet here, you can go around without having to construct each surface. So this is one way to do it. All right, so that's a rectangle tool. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.